Hi human beings, welcome to this tutorial to make this kind of animation with my plugin Diopter. You can use this kind of animation for a bunch of different stuff, instead of the overused Zoom Earth, for instance, or to zoom in a document. This magnifying lenses animation is actually quite easy, and Diopter does all the boring stuff for us. For those who don't know what Diopter is, it's an After Effects plugin which creates cool optical effects. Check out my website, you can download a free trial to try it by yourself. Let's start. First, we need four different scenes according to four different magnifications. As you can see, there is one in the beginning, then a sequence of three others. You can download the project file for this animation on my website and use my footage if you want. Let's import them in After Effects. I create a 5 seconds composition and name it Mag1 for magnification number 1. I put my first magnified footage, name it Footage and create a circular shape I called Lens. Make your shape slightly bigger than your composition. Then duplicate it and parent the copy to the original shape. We will use this copy later. Now let's animate this lens. I'd like to make some sort of rotation, like a microscope changing lenses. So I decenter the anchor point by pressing Y and I put it somewhere here. Then I keyframe its rotation to start outside the composition. To give it more life, I create an overshoot animation with two more keyframes, at minus 7 and 1 degree. I is in and out the last keyframes and it's good. Now it's time to make our lens reveals our footage. For this, we will use our duplicate lens. I will name it Matt. And place it above our footage. And change the footage track mat to alpha. This way, our lens reveals our footage. It's diopter time. Select your footage and apply diopter on it. Let's use Diopter to make a macro lens effect. In the Lens section, change the scale to match the comp size. Feather it by 200% and invert the alpha. In Fast Blur, in the Blur section, check Use Lens as Blur Map and increase the amount. In the Other section, lower the lightness to create a vignetting effect and add some chromatic aberrations. Most lenses have green and magenta aberrations. We have our lens look but as you can see, the diopter lens doesn't follow our animating lens. To do so, we need a little expression, this one. It will link the diopter lens position to the position of our lens shape. You can find it on my website too. Copy it. Alt-click on the stopwatch of the position property of diopter and paste it. A big plus to this animation is this lens distortion look. And to do that, we have to duplicate our diopter effect. Duplicate it and reset it. Note that the expression is still there. To make this distortion look over all of the footage, we don't need any type of lens in diopter. Set it to none. Disable the fast blur and increase the optical distortion amount. It's almost perfect. The last touch is to add an overlay texture. I have the perfect one. Parent it to the lens layer, place it above your footage and it's matte. Change its blending mode to add. Then, just like for our footage, duplicate the matte layer and place it above the overlay and change the overlay track matte to alpha. This way, the overlay only affects our lens area. Finally, let's create the border of this lens. Duplicate another matte layer, make it visible again and name it border. In the shape options, disable its fill and add a large dark grey stroke. Add a Gaussian blur to make it out of focus. And a bevel and emboss layer style just to add some slight realistic reflection. Well, we have our main animation. Now all we have to do is to duplicate this comp two times. We place the footage in those combs with the other two magnified footage. To do so, simply select the footage you want to replace, then drag and drop the new footage with Alt pressed to replace it without deleting the diopter effects on it.
For a better and different look, change the scale and rotation of the overlay texture between the three cams. It is time to make our final comp. Make sure your first footage is completely blurry before the other comp starts. And place these compositions in the right order. And that's it! Obviously, you can tweak other diopter settings to make a unique look and change the lens animation to make this animation your own. If you like this tutorial, make sure to follow me on Instagram or YouTube since I will post more of them in the future and I frequently post freebies for After Effects too. Have a great day!